Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? Sorry, back once again for yet another uh, follow-up of the previous uh, one. So this time we'll be covering water. Turns out that uh, after doing the, the previous one, it was too damn long. So I decided to, you know what, I think I'll split it into multiple videos. So it's gonna be six videos. Alright. <laughs> so now, we'll be covering water as much as we can. I may or may not miss... Uh, may or may not miss specific some items but uh, i'm just gonna let you guys know basically which is a good weapon to keep and uh which weapon is uh i don't know worth noting basically you know like some of the ones maybe you can just ignore and stuff yeah i'm not really gonna mention like the class weapons you know like the you know like the uh, ultima the seraphic ones those ones you can kind of like just you know it's kind of self-explanatory right <laughs> a lot of times those are already you know it's already out there the ones that you know the farmable ones that we have uh to date and today is june 2023 so this is the the thing if anything after this it would not be included obviously because it's not like i can read the future <laughs> so we're gonna go through the individual raids first to cover all the uh weapons whether is it uh you know like the farmable ones that is worth mentioning and then uh i'll open up wiki and we go through alphabetically okay <laughs> and then i'll just let you know how you get how, how it is okay yeah all right so water water is at least a little bit better in a way so water we start with leviathan leviathan we have uh we have a dagger spear stick and a bow and the only one that you need to pay attention to is the dagger because that's the only one that is something the rest is shit. Uh, you guys ignore it this is straight up you can just reduce everything. I don't even think you need any extra copies of that. You just ignore it. And yeah, you just only want this. And then uh, next we have uh, this guy. Uh, so for this one, I did recall people using this as uh, main hand. But other than that, you can ignore it. Uh, people also use this bow because this is a good... Uh, bow for uh raw damage because it gives you a lot of raw damage and it also works in the likes of magna if i recall correctly yeah this kind of works in magna as well but you only need one copy of this so yeah same, same goes for the previous one just need one copy of it and you're good you can also get ax uh versions of them so i just want to point that out if you can get like stamina or whatever that helps too yeah i suppose and then um the next one is uh Magna 2, right? So, Magna 2. Magna 2, the only ones that you probably want to uh, pay attention to is obviously like the these ones. This one is the same as like the previous for fire version. You get like the AES or whatever, right? So, this one is actually a good one for Magna. Magna, you probably want this at least like three of them. Yeah, at least three of them. I think people are using two of them these days. But yeah, I think on the safe side, you want to go three. This one is the primal version, you can ignore it. I don't think primal will ever bother with this garbage, so you can just reduce it. Or you can just use that main hand. But then again, this is also a decent main hand, you can use this. Um, this is the Magna 2.5 weapon, you can just use that. And then the other good ones is obviously, I would say, this is a notable one. This is actually a notable weapon that you probably might want to, to have as well. Probably two at most. Uh, this is the one you can just reduce because this is useless. This is the uh, the Ogie one that everybody tends to have for uh, Magna. You probably want to have minimum of two. The max is probably you want to go is four. Yeah, two the, mo the minimum because uh, if you go double Leviathan, he's already capped out. And then if you don't want to go double Leviathan, you need at least three or four of them, if I recall correctly. The rest you can tap technically ignore so yeah the only one you really want to pay attention to when it comes to like these weapons uh, is that you just want this you want this and this and maybe this one you know, like i mentioned before this one main hand you can ignore this you can ignore this ignore the rest yeah and then for e need uh e need is tefnut tefnut is uh i think i remember seeing a lot of people uh uh, I see a lot of people actually use this. I think there was one time in the uh, the the previous the previous uh, set of Guild War that people were using this shit at some point. You know, <laughs> I do not re really recall what setup it was, but there were a lot of people using this at some point. 
which is kind of pointless now with, with the whole Wemdu shit. <laughs> you can technically... I mean, you can keep! <laughs> you can still keep, probably if you want to keep maybe... I think I think that time people was using like four of them. <laughs> I think it was like around four of them. And then they put in a lot of awakening shit here and there. Yeah. So you can if you want to do that, sure. But this one is I don't think people really use this though. I mean you can kinda use this as a main hand because um There isn't a lot of uh, access for water, if I recall correctly. So if you want to use Viking and axe main hand kind of thing, this no, well, something. I mean, clearly it doesn't look like an axe, but it's an axe, so yeah, this kind of works. <laughs> yeah, then the rest is already mentioned. Um, then we have... Uh, this one. This one is... I think people only use that for main hand. Because we don't really have a lot of daggers as well for... For water as well, if I recall correctly. There isn't really like a lot of uh, daggers, so you can just... I don't know if you want, just grab them if you want as a main hand kind of thing. But other than that, you don't really need that. Um, is there any other water? I don't really... Oh wait, there's Colomba. Yeah, this one. This one is very similar to Majestas where it gives you Garrison and, and Majesty. So it gets a lot of HP and shit. But I don't think people really need this anymore. Even for endgame stuff like the, the the solo shit people, they really don't run this anymore for primal because Wemdu's axes and other shit is kinda like a thing now. And even Shrone Dingers are actually not too bad to have to be honest. Or they just use uh CTA's weapon now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um what else? I think there's other water weapons, right? Yeah, this one is kind of like the... Uh, so for anyone who's wondering, this is basically the uh, the budget version of Schrodinger's. If you have problems trying to... If you can't really farm Schrodinger's, this is technically the, easy, the, 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 the one that you probably want. Yeah, but what Schrodinger's means, I'll get to it shortly. I think this is all for water, right? Um, the next one is the Revance. I mean, for this one. The dragon, the dragon weapon, there are definitely people using it. I don't think people really use a lot of them. Uh, the most you probably want to use is probably two. But I think having one is already more than enough. So I just want to point that out. Yeah. Um, next is uh, Ravance, right? Yeah. So Ravance is Schrodinger's, which is from Diaspora. So this is the, the one-up version of the Columba earlier. This is definitely the better one. You get a lot more out of this because you also get to awaken this thing. You get to put defense. You can get to put uh, attack, special, and all that stuff into this to make it a lot better kind of stuff. You want to get make use of the Wemdu's weapon, uh, Wemdu's X, as in the, the 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 grid. I am technically kind of using this to get the, the HP because the defense awakening for this kind of makes it viable. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, the Xeno ones, I think Xeno is the same thing. You probably want to at least get one of each. You probably want one of each just for like main hand purposes or just able to slot the shit in kind of thing, yeah? That's probably the one you need. Yeah. So um, let's go on to Wiki. All weapons, all SSR weapons water. All right, let's go through one by one. Okay, shit. This is the potato one you can uh, ignore. Don't reduce though. Another word uh, of advice is that you should never ever reduce your gacha weapons. Because sometimes down the line, they can kind of update it in a way, like giving maybe for a 4 star upgrade or they just they just balance it all together, yeah. I may say ignore, but by me, just leave it aside. Just just put it into, just let it rot in your crate, it's fine. <laughs> unless, uh, unless you are in dire need of uh, weapon stones, then you should probably ask around first whether uh, if it's better off to, is it really that safe to do it? But for now, I just say just ignore this. Ignore this. Uh, this is uh, Summer Sandalphone, I think. You can technically ignore this as well. I think this is... Was this Bangy? No, this is Nobita. <laughs> Alright, this is the... Uh, you can ignore that. Uh, you can ignore that. Uh, this is a side story weapon. You can ignore that. I already mentioned this. This is the, uh, the one per account only uh, Rise to the Beast weapon, which you definitely should have. Yeah, you definitely should have, but you're never going to get more than one of these. So, I don't even know why I'm clicking that. So, yeah. This class weapon, ignore, ignore. 
this is Water Zeta's weapon. If I recall correctly, there were some people actually used this in the past. I do not know when. Uh, do not, I do not know uh, which, how many do you need, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that there were people using this in the past. I don't think they use it anymore though, so I can kind of ignore that. Okay, class weapon, ignore. Poseidon, okay, so Poseidon's weapon is uh, is a garrison weapon, enmity garrison type of weapon. It is really good, but uh, the most you probably want is only one. I don't think you go past one. One is already more than enough for for Poseidon's weapon, so yeah. Uh, add more, you can ignore. Albiron already mentioned. Class weapon, ignore. This is an event weapon, you can ignore, ignore. Uh, this is the Proving Ground Weapon, so proving ground, proving ground Weapons is also another thing where you should always just grab one of them. At least one of them is very very helpful. Alright, and then as I honestly, as for the uh, the Awakening stuff, I don't think I can really mention which is good because a lot of times Awakening is just whether or not you need that shit or not. <laughs> that or you just copy people's homework, but a lot of times they don't really use this anyway for the end game stuff. Um, this one ignore. This veins weapon you can ignore. This one you can ignore. Drank's weapon. Okay, so this is another one. <laughs> you only use this if you're using Shish Shishio. <laughs> okay, Shishio is that because this Drank ball, this blue sphere Drank's weapon, the Grand Drank's weapon, is very Ogi oriented. So if you only want to go Ogi stuff, then yeah, his, his weapon is probably you want to have. But all in all, uh, most of the time you can just let it rot in there. Uh, this one already mentioned. Uh, Militus, bow, uh, Militus weapons, once again, you should always keep uh, at least one of them. If you get multiple of it, it's always safe to uh, combine them. I don't think you really need to uh, separate them in any way because a lot of times people only tend to use one. There are some niche cases that they use two, but it's always okay. You can just combine them. I don't think you should reduce any of Militus weapons, okay? Yeah, this one is shit. Um, whatever. This is the OP one. So this is the uh, the thing I've been saying earlier as well. So this is the Wemdu's Axe. So this is the Grand Wemdu's Axe, which is the uh, basically top of the line shit where people actually use this to get their you know the meta stuff uh, ready and shit this is the thing that they have um so the most people tend to use this for is surprisingly they are four <laughs> i've seen some instances that people actually use four of these but i would suggest that there's no reason for you to go for most of the time three is already enough and whether or not you want to try to run this in your grid or whatever you should only run it when you have at least a minimum of two. Two is like the bare, super bare minimum. If you only have one, I don't suggest you to run this at all. Just continue running with Magna or whatever. Okay? If you only want to run with the Primal, you only run with two. It's better if you have three. Okay? Yeah. Um, Doggo's weapon, you can technically ignore. Class weapon, ignore. Ignore. Potato's weapon, ignore. Uh, proving Ground Weapon is the same thing as I mentioned earlier. Um, Colomba as well, I already mentioned it before. This is um, Kukuru's weapon, I think. Is this Kukuru's weapon? Oh no, this is Lesha's weapon. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, you can ignore this. Um, this is Erin's weapon or something. Is it Erin's weapon? And who's this? I can't remember their weapon. Oh yeah, this is Erin's weapon. You can ignore that actually. It looks kind of okay, but... I mean, I guess, hmm, I don't know, I guess you can kind of use this for uh, a budget, uh, a budget Lancelot's weapon. Yeah, you can technically use this as a Lancelot's weapon. Okay, Europa, yeah, you can technically ignore this. <laughs> you can just ignore that. This one is, I don't remember whose is this. This is a character's weapon, right? Oh, ends. Yeah, you can ignore that as well. Uh, this is nothing. <laughs> uh, ignore that. Uh, Zeno. You can already mention, just have one of each, you're good. Dark Tracture already mentioned. This is, uh, oh, this is a very old school uh, weapon that people tend to use. This is Summer Lucio's weapon. Lucio is still OP until to this date, but there were, excuse me, there were 
uh, specific times where people were using this in the past, but not, not anymore. I don't think there's a reason for you to use this anymore, but I don't think you should reduce it either, okay? So this is a class weapon, ignore, ignore. This is a summer Grea's weapon, you can technically ignore as well. You can let it rot in your, your thing. Draconic weapon, I think uh, it's also worth noting that if you need if you're a Magna and you need a specific like uh, defenses and whatnot, it's always okay to get a uh, Draconic. But then again, I think Water is one of those elements where you can make do without one because Water has like a lot of defensive options. You can uh, kind of forego that, but yeah, it's a one-time thing, so I don't think you need me to tell you. I don't think you're even allowed to reduce this, can you? I don't think Draconic you can, right? Yeah, see? <laughs> So you're not gonna make the mistake. <laughs> um, this one is you can ignore Durandal, ignore uh, Guild War weapon, ignore this one. I think I already mentioned Excalibur, ignore Thirty Gold Moon weapon, ignore this one is that looks very familiar, but I don't remember. Oh, this is new, no wonder. This Koros weapon, yeah, you can ignore for now though, because it's kind of whatever. <laughs> Fateless is a uh, astral weapon. So once again, astral weapon is just whether or not you need the the EX mod or not. A lot of times you don't really need this anymore, but it can kind of help if you're still relatively building up your your setups and whatnot. And if you're Magna, and then if you want to use your OTK setups like double Huan Long setups, this helps a lot. EX mods, uh, high EX mods is always very helpful. Class weapon ignore Fanbull is actually useless, but. I think some people actually use this in the, the Wemdu setup, but I don't think you need to. It's kind of whatever. Yeah, you can just technically ignore this now too. Ignore this. Guild War weapons you can ignore. 30 Gold Moon weapon, ignore. This is the OG Izmir's weapon. You can typically ignore as well. This is... I forgot the characters. I know who that... Uh, Makula, yes. Makula's weapon you can technically ignore as well. It's kind of whatever. I don't think there's full limit break. Nope, there isn't. Uh, Gold Moon weapon, ignore. Ah, Europa's weapon. Yeah, this one is the Grand Europa's weapon. You definitely need when it comes to like some uh, some setups because this is the one that gives you crit and then stamina as well, which I don't think a lot of people really use uh, a lot of these these days. I think the most you really go is two, but I think you can make do with one anyway. So just want to point that out. Just use at most two. People still definitely use that from time to time. I'm technically still am as well. Okay, uh, Xeno weapon, I think I already mentioned. This one is an event weapon, I think. You can ignore. This one is event weapon as well. You can ignore. This is uh, Anglovale's, OG Anglovale's weapon. You can typically ignore or use as main hand or something. It's actually not bad as a main hand. Class weapon, ignore. Class weapon. Uh, this is... Now, this is Kukuru's weapon, right? Oh, you know, this is an event weapon. Yeah, that's an event weapon. Uh, class weapon, ignore class weapon, class weapon, Gomun weapon. This one's Erika's weapon, right? Erika's weapon is kind of whatever as well. You can typically kind of ignore. Yep, character's good though. This is the OG Lancelot's weapon. You can ignore, right? Is it? Yes, you can ignore it. Uh, Hollow Sky, I also mentioned it in the previous one. It's always nice to have, but you don't really need them. You... Uh... There's not really much to really uh, say about Hollow Sky weapons these days because there are times where maybe you can make use of it. Sometimes you just you don't even if without even without it, you're really not gonna miss anything. So it's okay. Yeah, common weapon ignore. Uh, you can typically ignore this as well. This is a side story weapon. Uh, this is Lily. Um, I think Lily's weapon is one of the, I would say, in a way, a little bit special somehow because it has. It has this. <laughs> you technically don't need this, but you know, if you have a lot, a lot of uh, lilies, then I guess you can just you know combine them. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, this one is uh, class weapon ignore. This is water uh, UL's weapon. You can typically ignore as well. Class weapon, class weapon, class weapon, class weapon. Um, this is um, this is the bunkles weapon, if I recall correctly, um, which is the Kaong's weapon. You technically. There were people using it, but uh, for the most part, you can t actually you just ignore this and you won't really feel anything about it either. Yeah, like even without this, you're not really like missing out anything. Uh, class weapon you can ignore. Uh, this one though, 
This one is Grand Lancelot's weapon. So this Grand Lancelot's weapon is the uh, supplemental what skill cap uh, type of weapon where people also use for the sake of this small majesty thing, you know, because uh, Rambu's weapon, if you do not know how that works, that requires you to have at least a specific amount of HP to work, which freaking sucks. That's why you need some HP and stuff. So Lancelot's weapon is actually quite helpful in that regard. So for the most part, you only need uh, two of these to cap uh, Lancelot's weapon. So I mean the uh, the whole supplemental, the uh, the skill cap stuff. You only need two of it if you're running double primal. Yeah, it's like double Varuna kind of thing. You only need two MOs. But for the most part, some people actually just use one of it. So it's not you're not really missing out that much. And then this on Malice weapon you can ignore. Uh ignore. This is the uh, Yamato's weapon, I think. Uh class weapon, class weapon, ignore, ignore. Uh, Leviathan, I think I already mentioned. Class weapon, oops, stop. Uh ignore. Uh this one's uh this is the uh side story weapons you can ignore. This one is... I don't remember whose is this. This is Cassius Valentine. You can also ignore this weapon. But it's a kind of garrison stuff. But you te technically don't have to bother with it. Ignore this. Uh, this one as well. You can typically ignore as well. This is... Uh, Lady Caterpillar or something. Yeah, you can ignore this. This is Ingwe's weapon. People actually still kind of use this, I think. From time to time. Because it's the garrison... He has attack, he has garrison, and he has enmity. So it's uh, a pretty, pretty good weapon for like end game stuff. But for the most part, you technically don't really need that. But it's worth, I feel like it's worth mentioning. This is Silva's weapon, I think. Wait, is it? No, this is a uh, class weapon you can ignore. Uh, class, this is. Uh, this is Halloween? Halloween? Rosetta? Yes. Okay. Ignore. <laughs> <laughs> um, class weapon ignore, Mione ignore. Uh, this is uh, this is Romeo Nakamura's character. Yep, you can ignore. Uh, this one is what uh, Summer Kolulu's weapon. There were some point that people were using Summer Kolulu as well. Uh, her weapon, yeah, because she was yes, large enmity and that. But yeah, I don't think people really use that these days. Uh, you can ignore this. Ah, yes, Merg. Okay, Katarina's weapon, Grand Katarina's weapon, Merglis. So I think I probably should mention this. This is uh, dog shit. <laughs> this weapon fucking sucks in today's day and age. Okay, <laughs> I just want to point out that this weapon is actually really, really bad. But uh, it's worth noting that lit she's the very, very first Grand character to have this kind of uh, weapon. The whole uh, full lumen break weapon. Yeah, so she's the very first one. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, this is uh... oh Summer Jan. Okay, yeah, Summer Jean Jan, whatever you call her. So this one is different. Okay, this one I probably should mention as well because this weapon there are actually people using it. I don't really recall how many people, how many of these you're being used, but I did remember people had like two in their grids or something i may be wrong but there were people using this so i guess i should at least point that out right it's kind of weird right but yeah people use this because of enmity thingy and yeah it has a lot of water at uh, uh, attack mods right so it's pretty nice and then you get echo sh sure kind of thing yep uh this is the og uh og izmir weapon uh, there were some people using this as like a budget crit weapon because as you can see she does get the not so bad of a crit right and then she gets a supplemental uh, crit damage as well so this is kind of like the, uh, the 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 Tai Sai uh, Folias bow wannabe kind of thing or also kind of like a Europa budget Europa's weapon as well so yeah Plus weapon ignore. This one is the Rise of the Beast weapon. You can ignore. This one is, I don't remember, but I think it's a character's weapon. But you can ignore. Who's is this? Oh, this is Goldmoon weapon. Okay, now you can ignore. Uh, this is uh, Demon Slayer. It's impossible to get, but you can ignore. Ignore, ignore. This is the Summer, Summer Monkey's weapon. You can also ignore. Wait. 
yeah, you can ignore that. You can ignore this. This is Sophia's weapon, I think. You can ignore that. This is Summer Clarice's weapon. You can also ignore that. Not not people. Nobody really uses that thing. Uh, you can ignore this. Guild War, ignore. Only for Cutie. I think this is uh, Vampy. Oh, this Caglius true. No, I don't think you really need. I don't think people really use this either. Yeah, you can kind of ignore this. Uh, this is Water Juliet's weapon. Yeah, Water Juliet's weapon. There are actually people using this. So the what people actually use this for is for this. Yeah, because this weapon has a lot of. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, HP here. So I'm I'm not entirely sure if you know where I'm pick, I'm going with this. So basically, what this is that people use this to get enough HP for the likes of Wemdu's axes. Because this is just one weapon with at least some attack mod in there and it gives you a fuck ton of HP. So actually having one of this kind of helps out a lot in terms of just needing that uh, to feed in that stupid Wemdu's axes hitting that HP kind of shit. It's uh, very, very nice. Uh, Shishio, I... I guess so, but I feel like a lot of people tend tend to only use this for Ramdu's axes. So I'm, I might be wrong on that one. Maybe maybe some people use for. But then again, it's just if you're already at that point for Shishu, I don't think you'll be watching this video, right? <laughs> All right, class weapon again. Nork. Oh my god, this is the uh, the the legendary weapon. Fucking Chat. Chat Noir. You can't ignore his weapon. <laughs> You can reduce that for all I know, but I don't think you should anyway, because it's a gacha weapon. <laughs> this is the one of the OG uh, Idol Master the uh, EX weapons as well. I think, uh, yes. Ah, they have a date for the four stars, but uh, on release has like nothing. Okay, but yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, this is also another EX weapon, I think, which came out for the Stay Moon stuff. You can ignore this. Is Vampy's weapon? You can technically ignore as well. Uh, this is. This is someone's weapon, but I... You know, this is a class... Uh, I mean, the event weapon. Is it? No, this is Drum's weapon. Okay, now you can ignore. <laughs> uh, this one is class weapon for Relic Buster. You can ignore, ignore, ignore. This one is... This is a character's weapon, I think. Who? Who's this? Oh, Naru's weapon. Yeah, you can ignore. What the fuck is this, man? This is some old school shit, man. Look at this shit, dude. Multi-element, baby. <laughs> so bad. This one is a uh, Gomun weapon, you can ignore. Uh, this one, okay. Why am I burping so much? Damn it. Uh, ignore. This is uh, Summer Seek, I think. Summer Seek's weapon. You can ignore as well. Uh, this is our current weapon. Our current weapon is also a one time thing. You should probably always. Uh, if you already managed to max it out, you probably want to use it anyway, especially if you want. If you have like. You know, the uh, if you're farming Ravans or whatever stuff, it's always good. All our current weapons is always nice to have when you're maxed out. Multi element should be insta reduce. Uh, technically yes and no. That's like the really very old school weapons. You can't typically do that, but I usually don't anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's just for people to know, I suppose. Um, this one is uh, whose weapon is it? Throw, yeah. No, you can typically ignore this weapon as well. Class weapon, ignore, ignore, uh, ignore. Justice weapon, okay, same thing as our current weapon earlier. Class weapon, ignore. Rose Queen weapon is also good at the beginning, but you don't really need it. You can, you can survive without needing that. Class weapon, ignore. This is uh, another Ka Ong's weapon, if I recall correctly. So this one is, I think there were one time people were using this because of uh, the, the whole uh, staff meme thing this thing because there were at one point we were consistently in the position where we just want to fit in a lot of sticks in our water grid they were saying they were doing that they were using this at some point but i don't think i don't think this matters at all and then we have Soche's weapon Soche's weapon you can technically ignore as well schrodinger i think i already explained it earlier this is uh, christmas mumu's weapon i think yeah christmas moon's weapon you can typically ignore as well but the character's op yeah but we're not here to talk about the character uh class weapon you can ignore our current weapon once again um i'm just gonna mention that uh you can typically use our current weapons to slot in as in your extra slots if you're missing because uh you probably want the crit so it just kind of helps you crit a lot better kind of thing because it's 
quite nice, right? And also, if you're on Primal, this is also adding Magna, uh, Magna mods, so it's kind of nice to just have some extra Magna mods, right? Since typically you don't really have Magna mods in your Primal setup or whatever. So this is kind of nice, but if you need more HP, once again, you just slot in this one instead, because this gives you HP. Yeah. Um, then Guild War Weapon you can ignore, Class Weapon you can ignore, uh, Shishio you can ignore. Um, I don't remember who is this. Is this an event weapon? Yes, it is. Ignore. Guild War, ignore. This one is... I think this is a character's weapon, but... Oh no, this is an event weapon. Ignore. Uh, ignore. Class weapon. Ignore. Sky PSA. Ignore. This one you can also ignore. This one is definitely... I think this is uh, Christmas Marine's weapon. Yeah, Christmas Marine's weapon you can technically ignore as well. This one is event... Uh, side story weapon you can ignore. Class weapon. Ignore. Um... This one is flex only, you can ignore. This one is, I already mentioned it before, this is the thing. Uh, opus, you don't need, need to mention, you should always have Opus. Um, this one is some character's uh, weapon, I don't remember who, but uh, Arulu Christmas. Ignore that. You're never gonna get this uh, Street Fighter weapon anymore, so you can ignore that. This is, uh, this is not Idol Master, this is Love Life, right? Yes. Love life weapon, you can typically ignore, but this is one of those things where if you need the uh, EX mod, you can always go with that. Uh, this is uh, another event, I think, uh, side story you can ignore. And then this is another big one, Foldia's weapon, which has an upgraded, upgraded version of crit and attack, right? He has a big crit and brick crit uh, water attack. This is like an upgraded version of this, okay? So this is the big one where people use for crit, and then this is the uh, the one that has extra water attack as well. Typically, I think people use like maybe two of these at most, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think people only use two of these at most. You shouldn't really need more of that, so it's okay. But you shouldn't you shouldn't reduce any more anyway if you have more than that. As for whether or not you want to combine or not. I think it's always okay to combine if you already have two anyway, so yeah. Now uh, this one is uh, ignore, 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 ignore. This is a character's weapon, but you can ignore. Wait, no. It's not. Oh, it is character's weapon. This is fucking Sen. It's Valentine's Sen, you can ignore as well. Uh, ignore, ignore, ignore. Your war weapon, ignore. This is Summer Dianta's weapon, you can ignore as well. This one is... Uh, Event weapon, I think I ignore. This one, Zeno, I think I already mentioned. This is uh, event weapon as well, you can ignore. Guild War weapon, ignore. Magna 2, uh, Guild War weapon. Ultima, you don't need me to mention Ultima. Uh, class weapon, ignore. Uh, Malice weapon, I already mentioned. Vanguard is a uh, class weapon, you can ignore. Um, this is the uh, Cocutus, the OG Cocutus weapon, you can ignore. I have no idea who this is. Oh, this is a event weapon. This is... Who is this again? Sophia's Water's weapon. You can ignore that. This is Silva's weapon. You can also ignore. Uh, Dragon's weapon. I already come, uh, mentioned. Seraphic weapon. I don't think you need me to mention. You should use your Seraphic no matter what. Unless you are off element or you have Ultima. Then slot in Ultima. Then uh, class weapon. Ignore. This one is uh, Kukuru's weapon. Which you can also ignore. Right? This OG Kukuru. Yeah. Ignore. This one is, uh, what's the Erin's friend's name? Feline, yeah. Yeah, you don't need this weapon. Ignore. This one is a class, uh, what's that? Event weapon, ignore. Uh, this one already mentioned. And then this one's Militus weapon. You should always keep them. Uh, Rise of the Beast, you should always have one of these. You only ha can have one of these anyway, so it's always worth to have them. And then we have the Zawardo weapon again. This is probably one of the, the shittier one, I think. <laughs> and yeah, most of the time, I... Probably you should just leave it as like you should just ignore Zarardo's weapon for now because there's really no reason for you to go for it at this point because the weapon really only works in Akaram and there's no full limit break yet, so just ignore it for now. Zeno, I think I already mentioned. Uh Rise of the Beast, uh once again, you should always have the uh, the one that gives you the uh damage cap. I think this one. There's one that always gives you extra damage cap. Having one of that is actually quite helpful. Yeah, so this is the one that has the uh, damage cap. The other ones you probably will just get it because if you want, if you want to get the uh, the outfit for Rise of the Beast, you have to get all three. So yeah, and then the rest of it, if you get, if you decide to get more, you can just reduce them. It doesn't matter. 
uh, the fist you should pro uh, you can only get one of these as well. You should probably keep that at least uh, for main hand purposes because it's actually not too bad to have because you can fit in damage cap too. I think is it? I don't remember. I don't remember, but I think you can actually make use of that as well. But technically, use that for main hand purposes also. What the hell is this? Oh, this uh, summer Shalim's weapon. You can ignore that as well. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's every single water weapon in a game. Oh my god, that was really long though. Holy shit, look at the scrolling. <laughs> but yeah, so for the most part, once again, you should always never uh, reduce or sell your gacha weapons. If you really want to do it, it's better to ask first, in like, especially in a Discord or whatever. But for the most part, like I think Chad mentioned earlier, for the most part, I do kind of agree that when, it, when you see the multi-element one, they're mostly just shit because they're really, really old. Because that's how it is back in the day in GBF. A lot of, They designed a lot of weapons with fucking multi-element uh, shit in there and they're usually trash. So that's really not much you can really uh, do anything about it. So you can typically ignore it if you really want to. You can kind of reduce it. It's kind of safe to do that. SRS can go suck my dick. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, on to the next one. Uh, next element. Okay.